time ready. It's uh, September 1st today. Made it back from our trip. Uh, I just wanted to do an update on the batteries. Um, we actually ran out of, uh, we drained the batteries 100% uh, or to the safe working load of 44 volts. And um, I was very surprised because of the length of time uh, so I spoke with uh, the guys at um, Ontario uh, Battery and uh, I got a good explanation actually on in the previous video. I didn't know, I didn't quite understand 25 at 220, which is what my batteries are rated at. And what that, uh, now I finally got an explanation on that. What that means is that, uh, sorry, 440. So my batteries are rated at 25 amps draw they will run for 440 minutes that's what that means so um, when I'm running my motor at 1500 rpm it's kind of like a normal day calm I'm just sort of put putting along I'm actually drawing at around 25 amps draw and at 48 volts because I have all my batteries in series but it's only pulling the energy out at a rate of 25 amps. And if I, when I was in the middle of the storm, we had 58 knot winds coming at us and the anchor dragging, uh, that was like a disaster, right? So I'm like, we were blowing off anchor and I'm motoring almost full tilt. It was only five kVA, so I was running the motor at half, but it, that was like enough to move the boat drag the anchor through the mud it was using up a lot of power uh, but that uh, was five kilowatts or almost a hundred amps so uh, around 89 or 90 amps is what we were drawing at the time so because the batteries were only rated at 25 amp draw I get 440 minutes I pulled them at a hundred amps draw and the batteries aren't rated for that so they basically were like trying to get the energy out as fast as it could and they're just kind of fa failing and it just um, it cut my time down dramatically so my time for the battery rate of life I guess the life ex or the lifespan of my batteries to be able to move me at a normal speed of 25 amps uh, was basically diminished because of the excess load when we push it at 100 we basically it's not even like the same of cutting down your time in in half or something or by four i suppose um like our, it got even more than that it was like by maybe by eight so my batteries could only give me uh, maybe about half of what their expected values were so even when i looked at it in the morning and it still showed 48 volts it wasn't enough amperage still left in it to uh, give me the energy I needed which is why I ran out of juice um, halfway through motoring to uh, Harbor Harbor View Marina in, um, in Presque Hill or Brighton so anyways I just wanted to give that update because I didn't quite understand that in that first video and I know I said it a few times and I, it didn't make sense to me when I was reading it but now I understand what that rating meant and I experienced it out in the field by getting my lifespan shortened and I've always compared it to I bought these batteries and I said okay well if I every time I go out of harbor I'm just kind of barely moving I just go slow putt putt out of the harbor here and like I say putting along I'm doing about three knots like that's tons in the harbor um, three three and a half knots depending upon which way the winds blowing um, so that's enough to get me out quickly you know, it only takes me uh, 10 minutes 15 minutes maybe max to get out to where I'm putting the sails on uh, so I never really push it hard and I only ever use 5% of my battery um, so it's it's like barely using any of the battery to do that but it's because I'm pulling out the energy at the rate it was designed for but if I push it excess I it's just diminishing returns so um, I need to either put more batteries in parallel so I can increase my amperage, my amp draw, by splitting it across parallel banks. But right now I just have one very large um, 6 volt times 8 battery array. And that's why uh, 
I ended up with less than I expected because I took it out too fast and the batteries couldn't cope. Um, so they did work and they got me through my disaster, but I should have sat and charged them up longer uh, to be it with the sun, with the solar, and I didn't give it enough time for them to recuperate. So anyways, good to know. So when you see the little sticker and it says 25 at 440, that's actually what they mean. They mean 25 amps draw, you get for 140 minutes. And that's what my batteries are rated at. Cool. So a little un unboxing. Uh, first, I guess maybe I'll explain what it is. It's a Victron Energy battery monitor. And a battery monitor uh, basically has a, a shunt, which is this piece down here, which goes in the negative side of the connection.